This is your home network. You have this subnet mask and this many addresses to use. But that's insecure. What are you doing? You can't keep all your stuff on the same network. So let's change that. But not in the normal way. We're gonna do something weird. Instead of simply adding networks like a lazy loser, I'm just kidding, by the way, we're going to use the power of subnetting to break up your current network into four smaller networks. Wireless, IoT, DMZ, and user. Now, why do it like this? Why use subnetting? Well, because you suck at subnetting. And in this video, we're going to change that. So welcome to episode six of You Suck at Subnetting, which does imply there are episodes one through five. If you haven't seen those, go watch them. You'll need that knowledge to do the stuff we're doing here. So armed with that knowledge and a delicious cup of coffee. Network Chuck Talk Coffee. Let's break up your current network into four networks using the power of subnetting. Now, before we dive in, can I tell you something? You don't just suck at subnetting. You suck at a lot of things, but that's okay because we have IT Pro TV, the sponsor of this video. Fill in the blank. You suck at most things, and they're going to have a course for you to learn it and stop sucking at it. From Cisco and their CCNA to AWS and their associate thing they do, IT Pro TV can take you from knowing nothing in IT to becoming someone who actually has a job in IT, going from help desk with your CompTIA A+, to network engineer or cloud engineer. Oh, sorry. Um, just give you an example of something that IT Pro TV will never make you do. Fall asleep. Because they're training. <laughs> Sorry, that was a terrible segue. Because their training is entertaining, not boring. Honestly, it's like binge watching Netflix. What are the three Fs of switch functionality? Goes into this switch for our Except you're not wasting your life. Address. And they have all the best ways for you to learn something in IT. From virtual labs, which are required. You have to be able to do labs for your IT training and practice tests to see if you know anything and make sure you're ready for that exam. So if you wanna learn IT like me and stay up to date or just change your life and jump into IT, check them out, link below. Use the code network chuck and get 30% off forever. Now back to subnetting so you can stop sucking at that for now. Now you may recall from episode five that the subnet mask here, he tells us everything we need to know about the network. He whispers things to us. But to unlock his secrets, we'll have to convert him to binary using our good old buddy, Nosferatu. So Nosferatu, bring in our magic chart. And with a bit of flickering lights and skills you would have learned from previous episodes, this is what our subnet mask looks like in binary. A language that computers just mm, love. Now again, the subnet mask, he's whispering things to us, deep dark secrets about our network. For example, the ones are our network bits, telling us about the network, and the zeros are our host bits, telling us how many hosts can be on this network. Now here is our mission. We have to manipulate this subnet mask. We need to change it and break it into four networks. And here is the secret to our mission. When we need more networks, we know we need four. We need to hack the host bits. We gotta flip them. We gotta bring them over to the dark side of the network bits. I don't know why the network bits are the dark side. I just felt like I should say it. Felt good. So cement that into your brain real quick. When you need more networks, you need more bits. And the only way you can get more bits is by hacking them or stealing them from the host bits. But how many of the host bits do we need to create four networks? That's where a new friend comes in. Because I bet you didn't know that Nosferatu, he has a brother. Now where Nosferatu helps us with decimal to binary conversion, his brother, Nosferatu, helps us with this problem. And he even has his own chart. Check this out. This is the Nosferatu chart. Because notice every single number in that chart is just the number in Nosferatu's chart times two. So we say, hey, Nosferatu, we need four networks. And he says, okay, let me see here. Here is four, and that took us one, two bits to get there. And that's exactly how many bits, how many host bits we have to hack and steal to create four networks out of our existing network. Now, just to hit this home a little bit, what if I asked you, hey, I need you to make 17 networks out of our existing network? Well, you would tell Nosferatu, hey, I need 17. So Nosferatu will look at his chart and go, hmm, all right, 16, that's not quite enough, we need 17. So I gotta jump to the next one, 32. And how many bits did we need to make 32? One, two, three, four, five. So in that scenario, to have at least 17 networks, we would need to use five bits. We have to steal five bits from the host. But in our example, all we need is four, which only required two bits. Thank you, Nosferatu. And now that we know how many we need to hack, let's go ahead and hack them. Let's flip them, bring them over to the dark side. So starting at the beginning of our host bits, we'll hack two bits. Hacked, hacked. And we'll flip them over to the dark side. Gotcha, host bits. Now that right there is our new subnet mask. 
you just subnetted a network from one network into four networks. Now we're not quite done yet. Our mask is still in binary. Let's use Nosferatu, you know, the first one to convert our mask back into decimal. We know that all ones are 255 because all bits are on. And in our fourth octet, we can see that the first two bits are on and the rest are off. And if we add 128 to 64, what do we get? 192, that's our new mask. And if we were to write that in CIDR notation, which is simply just counting all the network bits in our mask, we get 8, 16, 24, 25, 26. We have a slash 26 network. How cool is that? And there it is, our first network, new and shiny, so cool. But hold up, how many hosts are in this network? Like we can see the first IP address in the network is this, but where does it end? <laughs> What's the broadcast address? How do we find that? How do we find the resulting networks and what their ranges are? We need to find the increment, which is super easy, by the way. Now, watch how hard this is. I'm totally kidding, watch this. The increment is simply the last network bit we have. So looking at our binary here and our subnet mask, there it is, that's our increment. And if we were to draw our last octet on our chart here, our increment is right here and there it is in decimal, 64, is our increment. 64 is what we'll use to determine the size of our networks and what the ranges are. Let's go ahead and do it right now. Let's start with our first network. Of course, obviously. 192.168.1.0 through 192.168.1. This might trip you up a little bit. 63. Not 64, because remember, we're including the zero. The zero is still an address. That right there is our first range, our first network. Let's do the next one. It'll pick up right where the last one le leaves off. 192.168.1.64 through, and if you add 64 to 64, what do you get? 128. But remember, we have to include 64. So the number will actually be 127. Now I think you got it. I'll fill out the rest real quick. Actually, you know, pause the video. You fill it out. Pause. Unpause. And there they are, our four networks that we created out of one network using the power of subnetting. Each of these networks will have a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255.192, or slash 26. And a quick quiz to test your knowledge. How many hosts are in each of these networks? Keeping in mind that we now have less host bits, right? We borrowed some, we hacked some, we stole them. So now there's less host available in each network. Now, if you look at our increment, it's probably painfully obvious, right? But the formula from our past video still works. If you recall, to figure out how many hosts are available in any given network, we can look at our subnet mask in binary and count the number of host bits. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six host bits in this network. And the formula will be two to the power of host bits, which is six, which we could use a calculator to figure that out. Two to the power of six, which is our increment. Or we could simply ask Nosferatu. Looking at our six bit, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then of course, if we account for the subnet address and the broadcast address, subtracting two, we get 62 usable addresses in our network. So when someone says, hey, I need you to take this network and break it up into a million pieces, like maybe six or seven or 12. You can take these four steps and do it. Like, it's awesome. In fact, I want you to do it right now. Here's your homework. Instead of four, I want you to do five networks. Take that same network in this video and convert it into five. I want you to paste the answer below. The subnet mask, I wanna see the regular version and side of notation, and I wanna see the ranges. Let's see what you got. Now I have good news. No matter what type of network you encounter, these four steps will work. If someone gives you a network requirement, we need this many networks, you can figure it out. But I will say this, we've been doing a class C address, 192.168. It might feel a little weird when you do a class B or a class A address. Now it will be the same, it just might feel weird. So if you want some extra practice with the other classes of addresses, I've got a link below. We got some extra training on this and some extra practice. But I do want you to take a moment and just think like, okay, here we are at episode six in our You Suck at Subnetting series. And you now have just learned how to subnet a network, to take a network and make it into many networks. And that's a pretty stinking big deal. You've come a long way. And this is a skill you will use in almost, no, every area of IT. But we're not quite done. There are more things we're gonna learn with subnetting. So keep an eye out, keep a lookout for the next few episodes. And again, a massive shout out to the sponsor of this video, IT Pro TV, who, unlike me, already has entire courses created on subnetting and networking and everything you could ever want to learn. So if you're like, Chuck, I don't wanna wait anymore, fine, go watch them. They're better. <laughs> so check them out, link below. Use code NETWORKCHUCK and get 30% off forever. And yeah, that's about it. I'll catch you guys next time.